Hey everybody, it's your girl CC, and thank you all so much for tuning in today. Today I just wanted to update you all on my BC. As you can see, my big chop here that I have going on, my little TWA. Um, but yeah, so I have been going through y'all like so much with my computer, like for real. So first, the, it was a new charger that I needed. The charger was broke or whatever. I haven't had my computer for, for like a year. That's horrible. The charger was broke. Second, now something happened and the charging port broke. So the computer itself is fine, but the charging port broke. So now I have to record from my Evo. But that's only temporary, so just stay tuned and bear with me. But hi, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's Christmas and New Year's went great. And it's 2012, and I'm here to bring out something new, which is a new look, a new CC is in the building, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm showing sure my TWA. This is what I have going on. Um, I decided to do my big chop January 17th of 2011. And that was at a salon in JCPenney's. I'm going to tell you all about it. I went to the mall. I was frustrated. So many people shopping. I was getting aggravated. I said, forget this. I'm about to go cut my hair off. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I said. How that had me, gave me the urge to want to cut my hair, I don't know. But it did. And that's exactly what I did. I went and I set an um, appointment in the salon in JCPenney's. And I set an appointment for 2.30. And, yeah, that's what happened. I ended up getting my hair chopped off. And the, the stylist, she was so sweet. She kind of asked me what I wanted, and I went ahead and told her. I just want my perm ends cut off. She didn't have any questions, any ends, ifs, or buts about it. And that she already knew what she wanted. And it was like a sign because when I went in there, there was a girl sitting there, and her hair was beautiful. She was already natural, and it was cut and like two strands twist that. I don't know what she had going on, but it was just beautiful. And my mom went up to her mom and was like, um, who did your hair? And so she told me, and I was like, okay, that's what I want to cut my hair. Simply because I know what she can do, and I don't know anybody else in here. I don't know her, but I see her work. I see what she can do, and I just want her to cut mine, and she did just that. Um, She also mentioned the color. I didn't go in expecting to get color, but she mentioned me getting color in my hair. And she was like, you know, to spice up your CWA, you might want to get some color. She, um, and she mentioned the red. So me and her looked in the books, and we both came up with this red. I don't know if you have to see it too good, but it's kind of like a burgundy. Based on different lighting, it looks different, but it's not um, bleached or anything. It's permanent. She ended up putting like a red booster on top of it twice. The first time it wasn't as bright or as vibrant as she would like, so... You know, I just let her do her own thing, and then she put another one on there, and this is what I got. And I love it. And one thing that I love as well, one thing that kind of shocked me is the thickness of my hair. It's really thick. And she said that, she was like, you have some thick hair, because I've seen her combing it, and it was kind of tense. And I'm like, hold up now. But she was like, yeah, you got some thick hair. And I thought that was funny, because all my life, and if you look at my BC video, then you would see my past videos of my hair and how it was and my hair was always thin I mean it wasn't really thin thin but or stringy or anything but like it was just thin and I was known to have thin hair and she was like well see that's the thing you have relaxer on your hair and that can that's altering your hair and your hair may seem thinner than what it actually is so when she cropped them perm ends and this is what I see I said man this ain't my hair I could not believe it I was like wow so I was really excited to see how thick my hair was. It's not thin or anything in any areas. Like it's just really thick and it looks really healthy. And that's what I love about my hair. Um, what I let me see. What I did to get this look going, I kind of just used water, which is what I have been using. This is a spray bottle with water, which is not my best friend. And I put some two E hair moisturizing oil by Kale's daughter in here as well. And I've been using that, of course, every day. And I two strand, well, not two strand twist, but I flat twist the front of it just to give it this texture that's, that I have going on right now in the front. And then I let it loose in the morning. And this morning I put the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard all over it. And it kind of gave me this look right here. Um, I did have a two strand twist out going on with as much, you know, I two strand twist it as much as I could, which I can grip and I can do that, so that's really good. And, yeah, but that was 
kind of, I didn't really do that last night, so this is just kind of how my hair is right now. But still, I love my hair. Just to show y'all a glimpse of some of the products I've been using, I've been using Carol's Daughter's Black Vanilla Leave-In Hair Conditioner. Um, This stuff is the bomb. Like, I've about used all of it. It's great. Love it. Y'all need to get y'all some for real. Um, I've been using the Direct Leave-In by Giovanni. This I was using as a transitioner, as you can see. And I love this stuff, too. Target. Got that from Target. Sure did. Eco Styler Gel. You need some of this as well. I've been using this. And let me see. Those are pretty much the products that I use, like, on a daily basis. For my two-strand twist, I've been using this Jess's Baby Butter Cream. I got both of these on the during the BOGO holiday sale from Target or Target. Yes. So I've been doing my twist out for this stuff. I haven't really used the curly butter cream yet, but I have been using the baby butter cream, as you can see. And I love this stuff. I really like it. And to prepare me, y'all, one tip that I will give you for those of you who are new who subscribe to me or or following me that's transitioning, shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank y'all for subscribing. And thank everyone for leaving the comments. I really do appreciate them. Greatly appreciate every single one of them. But um, this is a tip for all of you who are transitioning. If you are worried about if you should be C or if you're worried about if you should transition longer because you're not sure if your hair will be short or how it will look on you if you have a TWA, one thing that I found is that I treated my hair like it was natural as I was transitioning. So I bought products first as if I was a trans as if I was already natural, like things like the baby butter cream. Um, I bought conditioners and I kind of became a product junkie and all that stuff. But <laughs> but I just treated my hair like it was natural. And second of all, I did things like straw sets and roller sets and things to actually make my hair look shorter, like shrink my hair a bit. And by doing straw sets, it just made my hair look shorter than what it actually is. And then I would like pin up the size similar to what I have now so I can kind of see the frame of my face and get used to whatever my hair would be as a TWA. And I knew I would have a TWA because I said that I was going to transition for just six to eight months. That was my goal. And I did just that for about six months. I transitioned and then I cut my hair. So I expected, it wasn't a shocker for me to see short hair. I expected my hair to be short, and I kind of expected it to look not like this, because I used to wear my hair kind of like this most of the time. So yeah, so that's pretty much how I treated it, and that way I wasn't so shocked when I, you know, did my BC. And I feel like if you... If you, you know, do sew-ins and all of that while you're transitioning and if you're going to cut your hair early, know that your hair will be short and don't expect it to be so long. But if you feel like it's going to be a shocker, then don't put a whole bunch of weave in your hair or, you know, practice using styles that's going to make your hair actually look shorter than what it is. So you can kind of get used to it and get the frame of what you're going to expect. So do straw sets and roller sets and things that just bring shrinks the hair and tightens the hair. If you do plan on, that's if you plan on big chopping soon, you know, like for after six to eight months if you're not transitioning for so long. So that way you can know what to expect with your hair being short. You're not going to be like, oh my God, I don't have any hair. But, of course, you may feel like that anyways. <laughs> but that's just a tip that I have for those of you who, if you are worried. But, yeah, so that's pretty much where I've been, y'all, and what's been going on and why you haven't been seeing so many videos. But I will be back on my game shortly. But until then, you may be getting the Evo at you in your area. <laughs> but just stay tuned. Thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. Thank y'all for leaving comments. I really do appreciate them. They keep me encouraged. And, yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. I will come to y'all with another video showing you my products that I've been using and explaining to you the pros and cons of the products that I have and what I like about them. And also introducing some products that I really did use at one point but no longer like as I transition. And that's for those of you transitioners who have products or are interested in what products you should use. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much me, the all-natural CC, and I love it, and I hope you guys do too. But thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, and God bless.